Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. May I know your good name? My name is Ramcharan. Yeah, Ramcharan. Can I have your resume? Yeah, uh, Ramcharan, before going to the interview, uh, quickly introduce yourself. My name is Ramcharan. I am from Kodas River District. I completed my graduation in the year of 2023 in Gurnanak Institution Technical Campus. Okay. And we have four in my family and my strengths are I am a self-motivated and I am a versatile personality and my weaknesses I feel nervous while interacting with new people. To overcome that I, I read a book about Dale Carnegie's How to Influence Friends and Influence People. Okay, yeah. fine. And what about your technical skills? My technical skills are I am good at Java and HTML, CSS, SQL. Yeah, okay. So, can I go with basics of core Java questions? Yeah, okay. So, what is primitive data types in Java and what are they? Primitive data types. Primitive data, the data types is classified into two types primitive and non primitive. The primitive data types are integer, float, double. Boolean. Double boolean character and yeah. short. Okay. So fine. And you are uh, like uh, you are practicing any Java programs. Yes. Sir. Okay. So what is the difference between dot Java file and dot class file? Dot Java file is uh, written in the after completion of program. The programmer is written and it is human readable. And the dot class file is generated after the compilation and it is it is uh, in the form of byte storage, zeros and ones. No, no. Byte code is different. Binary is zeros and ones. It can store in a byte code. Byte code. Okay, it can understand all by any platform. Okay. So, are you aware of the new keyword in Java? Yes, sir. So, what is the new keyword in Java? New keyword is used to inherit the properties of class and it is used to create the object and it stores in uh, object memory. Yes. And so, what is a static variable? And uh, if you can declare any static variable, where it will store? The static variable will be stored in a class class mm -hmm. class memory. Okay. And uh, what is meant by static variable? What is the accessibility? Static variable is a variable which is uh, written uh, in class in class method, and it is only uh, there is no copy of class variable, static variable. Yes. Mainly you can say static is a constant keyword, constant. it is a non-access modifier as well. When you can declare the static, we can't uh, change the value. It can uh, like it can declare inside the class. Okay. So when before the declaring variable you can use static keyword, that variable is known as static variable. Okay. Fine. And uh, so in so Java can't uh, like support the multiple inheritance. Yes, so why it was not supporting the multiple inheritance? Because uh, when the subclass is inheriting the properties of superclasses, two superclasses, two superclasses, okay, it, it get ambiguity error uh, with the same same method name, so it feel like uh, ambiguity error. To overcome this, we have a concept interface. Yes, fine. So yeah, uh, can we overwrite the Static method? No, we cannot override the static. Why? Because the static is uh, it is not a part of calling office. And static is one of the non-access modules. Non when we can declare, we cannot change that value. Okay. Now fine. And so how can you create an object to like a, so how can you create an object for any class? By using uh, class name. Class name and new key. New key. Okay. Can we create a object for interface? We no, we cannot create. But uh, by using subclass, subclass, subclass name, we can create the subclass constructors. Subclass. Okay. So subclass, uh, subclass constructor names. Then we can use the. We can create, we can create the, the object. Okay, fine. And how many operators are there in Java? There are different types of operators in Java. There are. Arithmetic operator, relational operator, bitwise operator, assignment operator, increment operator, logical operators. And ternary operator. Okay, so operator means? Operator which 
Hello, is the Java program? Yes, actually, operator. Okay, what you are saying, right? Just you can say operator is nothing but a symbol, either plus or minus. But it can perform the action between the two data. Okay, yeah, fine. And are you listen the concept call by value? Yes. Okay, what is the meaning of call by value? Calling a calling a method by uh, by passing by passing a value is known as call by value. Yes. We can say by passing some by passing values. Some okay. Can you give any example? Like one example, ma. Uh, what is the uh, this syntax which you can say? How you can create that method? Call uh, method by creating object, object and inputting the value in other class. Okay, your method name is show. Main, main method we have to call the. Yeah, okay. okay. Your method name is show. Yes. How you can call by passing value? Show uh, object name dot show. And uh, inside that. We need to pass a value. Some value in the main method. And so, what is the main difference between arrays like single dimensional array and uh, multiple dimensional? Array? Single dimensional array stores the uh, single single value, and it is used for denoting the variables. In multi uh, two dimensional array is for creating matrix matrix sum when our data is in a linear form we can go with the one dimensional array when our data in a table format like rows and columns then we can go for the two dimensional uh, two dimensional okay so fine uh, are you aware of any programs like uh, numbering programs okay can you write a fibonacci series program yeah okay just you can write here A five. So you are declared a first a equals to zero and b equals to one. And after that you approach to follow. And use the values zero to ten. And you play like uh, what is the output I will get while executing this program? Yeah, uh, fine. And finally, one question. So, what is string? String is a collection of characters. Yeah, okay. Can you declare one string? Declare by using double quotes. Okay, just uh, declare one string. Uh, what is the name? What is the variable name? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
and there is any another way to declare a string like by using new keyword yeah okay fine no problem so we can declare a string in another way also using new keyword okay yeah uh, fine Ranchanan I think I done with my site you have any queries to ask yeah, yeah you mean 